tears on the mausoleum floor Blood stains the Colosseum doors Lies on the lips of a priest Thanksgiving disguised as a feast Rolling in the Rolls Royce Caniche Only the doctors got this I'm hiding from police Hey there old sport, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby is from director Baz Luhrmann, he is the director for William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet and Moulin Rouge. This film stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, Carrie Mulligan, Isla Fisher, and Joel Edgerton. This film is about when Jay Gatsby, he was a war veteran, he's drawn into the past, he can't forget about his love, Daisy, played by Carey Mulligan, but Daisy is now with this rich asshole played by Joel Edgerton. Tobey Maguire plays Nick Carraway. He is the guy that's basically buddies with Jay Gatsby. He's the reason why he basically gets his love back. Two of them, they just want to be together with each other again, but complications ensues. I'm going to be honest, I didn't care for the book The Great Gatsby and the Robert Redford Great Gatsby film. I saw the film and I read the book in my sophomore year back in high school. I just thought it was okay, but I was actually bored for the most part, with the movie and the book. I had an enjoyable time with The Great Gatsby. It was a little better than I expected. Leonardo DiCaprio is Jay Gatsby. He does a very terrific job. Tobey Maguire does a really good job playing Nick Carraway. He had a very interesting role. And in a way, it felt like Tobey Maguire was actually the main character. You do get enough screen time of Leonardo DiCaprio. Jay Gatsby kind of felt like the supporting character. Carey Mulligan does a really good job with Daisy. And one of the issues I honestly have with the Robert Redford film is that Daisy was too cheesy over exaggerated it felt like a cheesy soap opera carrie mulligan's daisy she was not over exaggerated it did not feel like a cheesy soap opera as i was watching it i actually believed that these two actually fell in love with each other it actually felt real the romance and i think that's what was really interesting about this film joel edgerton who plays this rich asshole in this film he is so good really good. And Isla Fisher, although not in this film that much, she does a pretty decent job for the role that she does have. The visuals in The Great Gatsby definitely look terrific. They are very well done. The use of green screen to build the sets and the coloring just to make it all vibrant and beautiful looking. It does look terrific. I do have problems with this film though. Why is there Jay-Z music in the party scenes. There's a couple of times where they actually play jazz music during the party scenes and that definitely meshes perfectly. But most of the party scenes actually have Jay-Z music and it just didn't fit. The party scenes were so over the top. It really annoyed the living hell out of me. It bugs me the fact that Boz Lerman seems to care more for the visuals and the substance. And I know I'm not the only person that feels that way. I definitely felt like that as I was watching the film. There were a few times where the film feels choppy and there were a couple of times where it did feel like the acting was just a bit over the top. I was really impressed with the ending of The Great Gatsby. I gotta say yes it's gloomy but it was really impressive. And I am definitely happy I saw the film. It's the best version for The Great Gatsby in my opinion so far but it's not a film I could really watch again. I am going to give The Great Gatsby Two and a half out of four stars. I was surprised by the film and it was enjoyable. Not the best or anything, but it was enjoyable. Subscribe to my channel. Comment your opinion on this film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.